So hi guys, today we are going to learn the concept for the reduce. As the name suggests, right? Reduce is nothing but the, it will uh, reduce the statement or the reduce the data into the one single value. So reduce is nothing but the which will uh, is nothing but compressing the data into the returning the data into the single value. So what does reduce method do? So in order to understand this concept, let us take some example and understand the concept. So here we will create one variable as a array and what we will do, we will uh, see how the reduce method uh, works. So here if you see right, arr dot reduce. So we will see what does reduce method accepts. So it accepts one of the callback function. And the other is the number initial accumulator value. Uh, we can say that as a accumulator value. So here, if you see right in the callback function, what does it accept? It accepts the previous value and the current value. It also accepts the index of the number. So reduce is also kind of a high order function uh, where it will uh, accept the uh, method as a argument and the initial value. So here is what you can do. You can write like uh, if you if you want to find the sum of the number. So we will call the sum method to get the result to get the array sum. Okay. So we will write something like return uh, sum of array and the initial value so suppose if the initial value is we will assign initial value as a zero okay and we will declare the sum method sum of the array method so what does this sum of the array method will do here we will take the current value and the previous value so and we will return this sum of this data return current plus previous value so every time when it will iterate through this reduce method right every it will loop around all the data of the array and it will initialize the current value as a zeroth value since this is the accumulator value in reduce method it takes the two parameter one is the callback function other is the initial value what would be the initial value of the method so here the current value would be 0 and the previous value would be the second value this is the optional value if you will not give this value then current value would be take, would be taking as a 2 and the previous value would be 3 so the sum of the 2 and 3 for this uh, method how it will take i will just try to write it 2 plus 3 and it will print the result as a 5 and it will return this value to the current value. So now if you go to the second line, the method will be executed on the second time. Then on the second time, the current value would be 5 and previous value would be 4 which would be nothing but the 9, right? So now on the third time what it will do it will take the current value as a 9 and initial previous value would be 5 then it will print 14 right so this is how it will work if the initial value is not been assigned to the reduce method so suppose if you have assigned some of the ready uh, you have assigned the initial value which you can see right if the initial value is specified, it is used as the initial value to start the accumulation. The first call to the callback function provides this value as an argument instead of an array value. So it's the same thing. If you will not assign the, if you will assign the accumulator value, then it will take it as a, I will remove this data. So it will take it as a 0 and plus 2. So it will return 2. On the second time, 2 would be the current value and the second time it would be the 3 value. So it will return 5. 
Now third time what it will do? It will take 5 plus 4, right? 9. On the fourth time, it will take 9 plus 5 then it would be 14. This is the way it will work when we have the accumulator uh, initial value inside the reduce method. So, this could be helpful for performing various operations if we have to use the, as one of the object value uh, and we need to find the sum of the any of the object value we can use this. We can initialize the initial value as a 0 and perform one of the operation. So, here if you see right the looping of the data along with the sum, sum of the value of the array we are doing in single method in a single way. So, and at last it is returning one single result. If you console this result right and try to run this code node reduce dot js. So, you see right it is returning the same thing. So, one single line of the code right it is doing everything it is iterating to a number of the times to the whole this data and uh, by using the initial value and uh, taking as a callback function and it is trying to return this result. So, reduce is very much helpful in order to perform any of the operation something like this by getting the uh, object data uh, some of the object data or any of the operation in the object array of the object it will return the sum of the data. So, who you might have got the concept for the reduce method. We will see next video. Thank you.